All right, so for day one of the class, we saw in the syllabus that we're going to cover three networks. Let me give you an overview of all of the networks we'll be covering if you take all three parts of the class. Now, I will be writing notes on my computer, and I will give you those notes at the end of the day in the network folder. You can write your own notes, of course, on paper, but I'm going to write notes in the computer in Notepad. We've also got Word, if you'd like to use Word. But I'm going to write some notes. I will put these notes into the network folder at the end of the day. And first what I want to say is that uh, here's our roadmap of networks we'll cover. So part one of the class, which is this month in June. And then part two, July. And part three, August. In this order every Friday, uh, Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Then in part two of the class, July, we'll start with Pinterest, then LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat, and then in part three. Cover, we'll cover YouTube, part one, YouTube, part two, and then on the last day, three months from now, I'm going to just simply title it miscellaneous because I'm going to cover a variety of things like SoundCloud, Patreon, etc., and uh, recap. So that's a lot of different networks. And we will not be able to cover the networks 100%. In theory, I could teach a class of three months only on Facebook, only on YouTube, only on Instagram. These networks could be that complex that I could focus all three months on one. This class is going to be a survey of all of the big popular networks uh, that are out there that might be useful to you. I'll explain a little bit more why these were picked as I go on, but in general, these are the ones we're going to cover in the time moving forward. Does that make sense? Any any questions? Yeah. Is the notepad also going to be emailed together with the voice? No, uh, the notepad file, it's going to be in the network folder, so you do need to take it before you leave. Uh, and I'll remind us where the network folder is a little later. Yeah. Okay, so. This class is an overview of all the popular social networks and how to use them in terms of online marketing. So we've got that keyword, marketing. In your opinion, what is another word for marketing, or what's a definition, or what do you think of marketing when you hear that word marketing? <coughs> what is it, perhaps? Yes. Advertising. Advertising. Perfect. So, advertising, marketing, advertising. Uh, okay, advertising. So, advertising, we'll say, in the real world, in the digital world. In the real world, Forms of advertising or marketing might be what? Billboards. What's that? Billboards? Yes. Anything else? Television ads. Television ads, yes. Anything else? Flyers. Flyers, yep. So we've got uh, a variety of real world um, advertising slash marketing avenues. Uh, I've got a restaurant and I want people to come to my restaurant. So if I only rely on word of mouth, it might, might not go very well. If I rely on people wandering in front of my restaurant and walking in and ordering and then telling friends and expecting that my business will work on just word of mouth, unfortunately, the statistic is that oftentimes uh, most restaurants, most businesses fail within the first year. Uh, those that are out there longer than that must have been doing something right, either their product or most likely their marketing. 
getting the word out. So, okay, I'm a restaurant. I'm not going to wait for just people to walk in front of my restaurant. I'm going to put a billboard out there to let people know I exist. Come on over. I'm going to put ads on TV if I can afford it. I'm going to create flyers and put them on people's windshields. Um, you know, there's lots of forms of, of marketing in the real world. There's, of course, the one, uh, the guy flipping that sign on the corner. <laughs> So the, um, that's another form of marketing nowadays in, in the real world. Flipping a sign pointing to the, um, uh, to anything, the, right? The, uh, the tire shop, the new housing development, the restaurant, the, the, the tutorial center. So it's just different forms of marketing to get the word out, to get attention, to, know, to let people know I exist, my restaurant exists. My uh, law practice exists. My daycare center exists. So in the real world, most successful businesses use some form of mar marketing. Uh, most successful businesses use some form of marketing. How much you use, of course, is based on your budget. I have $100 to spend this quarter. I have $1,000 to spend this month. I have $20 to spend this year. Well, some amount of money is spent for all of these, because these aren't free. That billboard is not going to be put up for free. The TV ad is not going to run for free. Hopefully, you're paying that person flipping the sign at least minimum wage. So all of that stuff. The flyer's not for free. You had to print out all of those flyers. And hopefully, you're not using the, the company printer to do that. You're using your own printer. So all of these things cost money to advertise in the real world. The digital world, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc., etc. All of these social networks are the digital equivalent of marketing in the real world, basically. So social networking and such has been around for a long time. Facebook is around like 12 or 13 years old. Twitter is also like 10 years old. LinkedIn is also like 10 years old. Some of these networks have been around a decade. And in computer time, that's a long time. So they've been part of the landscape for a long time. And I've taught this class for several years. Uh, it's not until the last couple of years that more people come in asking about questions about like, well, what about privacy and, and, and can they sell my name and, and, and what about uh, congressional investigations and all of that. So things have changed in the last few years that I've taught this because the, the, the ro what's the expression, the, the rose is off the, the vine or the, the bloom is off the vine or whatever that expression is? The bloom is off the rose. It's not as rosy as it used to be, these social networks. It was a place where I would contact my friends and family and share funny cat pictures. And now we're seeing that these networks are selling our names and then like uh, foreign powers are meddling in an elections perhaps and like what's going on with these things. So how that affects us, uh, I can't quite fully address that in the class because I'm going to address it in the most positive ways about how do these networks help your business su succeed. The stuff that we see in the news and all about that is more about like how do these networks affect people and we're going to be covering these networks on how they have, they're used and affected in business, which is a little bit of a different topic. So I won't touch on like all the controversy and stuff that's happening in the real world at the moment. I'm going to keep it toward how are these networks useful for you as a business. But basically, this is the big idea that these are a form of marketing and advertising. Quick show of hands. How many of you have ever used a little website called Facebook. Most people. Okay. How many of you have used Facebook as a business? Okay. Less people. That's what our focus is going to be. How to use these networks as more of a business. Because most networks can be used as a personal page or actually personal profile or business page and very slight distinction in words they almost seem exactly the same but technically personal profile business 
page. So for personal, chat with friends, share photos, have fun. Business, update your customers, promote your wares, increase your exposure. You could throw fun in there too if you'd like. But uh, for business, the purpose of the network's a little bit different. Uh, you're going to try to reach new customers, keep customers, get more fame or visibility for your business. Um, so many of these networks can let you set them up for personal or for business. And most of us probably have the personal version set up. We'll talk about, about of course, setting up the business version. Uh, because also the business version business version also has extra features such as analytics which is statistics and ads so up here when we said about the real world billboards flyers and all of that those are not free uh, hopefully you're also even uh, paying the person minimum wage well uh, in the digital marketing you can start off with it being completely free you can create all of these accounts for free you can use them for free you can reach an audience for free but when you need to get a little bit past the competition when you need to get a little bit further than, the, than your competition on all of these networks you also have the ability then to create ads to pay a little extra to reach more people more effectively. So the demographic reach of social media is much more powerful and focused than real world reach. Okay, that means if I've got a restaurant and I'm going to create a TV ad, if I'm going to promote my business on TV, it's a restaurant, Italian food restaurant, let's say. Um, what channels on TV might I put my ad on? Food Network, the cooking channel, maybe HGTV, you know, those various channels that are about home and garden, about food, about cooking. I'm going to put my restaurant ad, TV commercial, on a food-focused um, channel. If I've got a sporting goods store, well, I might think about putting my radio ad on a radio station focused on the outdoors or adventure or whatever. I'm going to try to put my ad in the right avenue where the right people will listen to it or see it and hopefully uh, buy my stuff. Well, in social media, we have such a fine grain ability to target people that would really respond to our message. I'm going to target, you know, 25-year-old college students in San Diego for my ad. I'm going to target uh, baby boomers, uh, in uh, Alabama, uh, in a certain income, I can target that very specifically in social media. I, I can't do that with a radio ad. I can't do that on TV or the billboard. The billboard is everyone's going to see it, uh, and a lot of people are not going to care. But with social media, we can um, really target. That's one of the powerful things about social media. We're going to get hands-on in just a moment after a little bit of theory, but a couple more things here. Here's some, um, some jargon, some terminology. We've got um, impressions, conversions, 
CTR. Impressions. Someone sees your content. Conversions. Someone acts upon your content. CTR. The percentage of success. Now this is relating to the marketing funnel, which uh, perhaps is a little too detailed to get into at the moment. Okay, com impressions, conversions. Uh, think about it in terms of that billboard. I've got that billboard on the five, uh, on Nobel Drive or whatever. Um, there's a billboard for my business there. Everyone's going to see it on the five, especially rush hour. There's going to be a lot of impressions. A lot of people will see it. So someone sees the billboard. Lots of people see the billboard. Let's say a thousand people see that billboard. Does that mean I'm going to make a thousand sales? No, it's going to be a very, very low number of how many actually get converted. The conversion is someone sees my billboard, someone calls the phone number to request a quote, better yet to hire me and make a sale. A lot of times people think or, or learn about the word, the, the word conversion simply as a sale. And that's a common definition that a conversion means a sale. But a conversion uh, it could mean any sort of action that happens toward the sale. Just by looking at my ad, that's nothing. If someone calls me because of the ad, that's a conversion. Ultimately, I want a sale. That's a conversion, too. So it's any action that a person does on your content. Let's say I put flyers on people's windshields. OK, those are impressions. People see the flyer. They look at it, throw it away. OK, there was no conversion. Well, someone looks at the flyer, they saved it, and then some, at some point they email me. OK, that's a conversion. They were converted from non-action to action. Better yet, of course, they hired me. That's another conversion. CTR, percentage of success, which in computer terms, click-through rate which is just simply um, conversions divided by impressions. So on Twitter, 500 people saw my tweet. And two people clicked the link to buy. 500 impressions, two conversions. Two divided by 500 gives you a percentage. And that percentage, then, you can use as a measurement of success. So let me do the math here. Um, 2 divided by 500. That's a very, very low value, 0.4%. Well, I could say that was, that was not successful at all. 0. Half a percentage of success. OK, well, let's say I had you know 55 clicks out of my 500 impressions. That becomes an 11%, 11% success. Um, this CTR value, obviously, I want 100% CTR. That is impossible, usually. Even like a company that spends billions of dollars in advertising, like Coca Cola, does not get CTR of 80%, 50%. That sort of thing, because they're competing with Pepsi and Mountain Dew and you know uh, Powerade or what is this one over here, uh, Vitamin Water. So even if a company is big and spends billions of dollars on marketing, that doesn't mean their conversions are also that high. So very common, very common to have a CTR in the single digits, one percent to nine percent. Going higher than that is very, very, very good. But again, think about that ad on the back of a magazine or the radio ad that you hear every day at 3 o'clock that you will never call. Um, so that percentage is a lot lower. But because we are able to target our audience a lot better in digital, our CTR could be higher in theory than in real life. 
because we can target exactly who would care about our message. Any questions so far? Yes. It does. Each of the networks is going to have different statistics because of their various natures in terms of which one's bigger, which one's more popular, which one has the audience that I care about most. So it will range. They, they will all range a little bit. But the good thing is that once we create the, uh, the accounts, uh, each one of them will give us a full set of, of data that we can look at to understand what's happening. So we're going to I'm going to I'm going to make you aware of a great website and then we will actually start to work with these networks. We'll take a break in a moment. But let me show you something first then we'll take our break. Uh, if you go to your web browser and you go to this website socialmediaexaminer.com This is one of many um, trade journals in the world of social media. I like this site a lot. This is your guide to the social media jungle. So there are articles every day on all of these aspects of social media. What are the latest trends? What are the latest updates to the networks? How to do something? Uh, how to use Facebook if you're a lawyer? How to set up Instagram uh, if you're a restaurant? So I recommend you make a note of this. I'll put it into the notes as well. And remember, these notes, I'll put them into the network folder at the end of the day. But what I'll say here is, great website for you to expand your social media knowledge, besides this class, of course. Socialmediaexaminer.com. So just taking a quick look at the latest headlines here. Uh, how to use Facebook ads to improve your video views. Online reputation management, a guide for social media marketers. That sounds interesting. Number one, what's social media management? What's reputation management? Okay, I got to read that. Three ways to get more Facebook comments on your Facebook posts. Okay, some, some tips about uh, how to get more people to comment on um, Facebook. So a lot of great content for free. Just to, you just have to put up with the ads, uh, but all of these on a variety of topics, pages and pages on topics. And you've also got a search uh, on the top right corner. Categories, you can search and find something on a specific topic. So I'll, I'll, let, I'll make you aware of this website. We'll visit again as, the, as our semester goes on. I'll mention other websites as well, but I recommend you check this out as a... Um, as a great tool for uh, more social media knowledge. Let's take our first break. Uh, any questions, actually, before that? All right. so usually every hour or so, we'll take a little break. Uh, it's uh, 10.25. We'll take a break until 10.35, 10 minutes. We'll be back, and then we'll continue with, uh, with our lectures.